welcome back. I'm Kathy, and if you're new to my channel, I do food and product reviews. And you might remember a few days ago, I reviewed the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. I had several people comment asking me to review other Dash products. So I decided to do this one. This is the Dash Rapid Egg Cooker. When I first looked this one up, I was like, oh, it just does hard boiled eggs. I like when you have kitchen gadgets that do more than one thing. Uh, but I was wrong. It also will make an omelet, poached eggs, which I love poached eggs, but I never make them. Um, you can do the hard boiled eggs like three different ways, soft, medium, and hard. Um, you can also like steam vegetables on this. So I thought that was pretty cool. So clearly it does more than one thing. So that made me happy. I did purchase this on Amazon for $14.95, I believe. Um, I think that's the price of this one about the average price of this one. Uh, the waffle maker and the griddle there, I've seen those for like $9.99, but this one is a little more expensive. And I got it in black. Of course they have all the other different fun colors. So here it comes with this little guide, just like the last one did. This is kind of a maintenance guide and how to get started. And then the recipe guide in the back. All right, so this is your lid your measuring cup and it has a oh, has a little needle at the end um, we'll use that you poke your egg before you um, hard boil it and then it has different lines if you want a soft medium or hard boil that you fill the water to that line and over here you have the omelet if you want an omelet or you want it poached this is the poke well this is the poaching tray and this one here is for omelets. So there you go. And this is just, it's just plastic. Just plastic, it's not the best quality plastic it doesn't feel like, but. So it's to be determined how long it will last. But, And this is the boiling tray. You always leave this in here, whether you're making the eggs, the omelet, or the poached eggs. What I dropped was the boiling tray handle. So just put that in there. and it twists to lock in there. So when you have your eggs in there, you can just lift it up. And when you're not, when you're using it for the omelet or the poached eggs, you just take that off. So, yeah. all right, so I just wanna measure it so you get an idea of the actual size. It's like seven and three quarters from the handle to handle. The plate itself is six inches, uh, but once you put the lid on, the lid, uh, it's like six and a half. Okay, before I start making eggs, I wanted to mention something. Um, it says on these directions that this will not rust. It does say you may notice mineral deposits uh, on the heating plate after a few uses. To remove the mineral deposits, uh, all you need to do is um, put a little mild solution of like water and vinegar um, on the plate from time to time to clean it. You can also um, clean the heating plate using a magic eraser uh, type sponge and warm water. So yeah, I have used this once because I wanted some poached eggs this morning. Um, and I did notice, you know, you can see it's not as clean or it doesn't appear to be as clean as it was when I first got it. You can see it? Because it didn't look all like that and now this is kind of but anyway, apparently not a big deal. So I'm gonna start uh, just with hard boiled eggs. So here is my boiling tray and the handle. And it will hold up to six eggs, so I'm just gonna do six. So there you go. So here is the little measuring cup, um, soft, medium, and hard. Um, I like them hard, so I'm gonna put it up to the hard line. So right off the bat, um, the egg cooker compared to the waffle iron and the griddle, uh, what I like about this, it has an on and off switch. The other two do not. You just have to unplug it to turn it off. And turn it on, plug it in. So this does have an on and off switch, which I do like. And it also has a timer, like a built-in timer. You can't set it, um, but what happens is uh, you fill this with water, you pour it in the pan, and when it cooks, the water is gonna um, evaporate. So when the water's gone, that's kind of like the timer. So when the water's gone, uh, the alarm will go off on here and let you know that it's done. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so I have it filled to the hard line. So I'll just pour it in here. Put my tray on. Set it on there. 
oh, the times that they're given us on here are um, kind of an estimate. I think you need to play around with it. When I made the poached eggs this morning, I, I have found that um, it does take a little playing around with the amount of water to get it the way you like it. These times are for um, medium and large eggs. So you'll probably have to adjust them if you had a small or if you had extra large or jumbo. So. All right, all right. So I'm just gonna poke through it there. A little poker. All right, so I'm gonna crack it. I've never done this before. Let's see if I can show you what I'm doing. Please don't crack, please don't crack, please don't crack. Uh. Okay, it says to put the big side up, so the one with the hole, you stick it up. All right, five more. one. Right. After you do the first one, it's a little easier and you're not, well, I'm not as scared that they're going to crack on me. All right, so plug it in. All right, so here's the lid and it says not to latch it, so just set it on here. And here is the, you see the hole for the steam, so kind of, I don't want to stay away from that. All right. All right, so based on the water is the amount of time it will go for. I will set a timer so I can see how long it actually takes. Yep. It's going to take about 16 minutes for four to six eggs. All right, let's find out. There it goes. It's only been a minute and you can hear it starting to heat up already. I think you can hear it. Can you hear it? You can hear it. See the steam up there. So it's been about 14 minutes, so I think the alarm's going to go off in a couple minutes if. Um, that 16 minutes was right, um, so we're gonna find out. The directions in the little recipe book, it does say uh, if you like them hard to um, keep the lid on for an extra minute. So I'm gonna do that after the buzzer sounds, then I'll, um, then I'll leave it one more minute and then I'll put them in the ice bath. Oh, there it is. I like this alarms, it's cute. But it keeps going off until you stop it, so. All right, so, actually, actually, so that was more like 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna keep it an extra minute um, before I put them in the ice bath. Spin the extra minute, so I'm gonna take this off. This lid is hot, so be careful. The, the handle is not hot, so. So I'm a little worried if they're not done. I'm gonna have six eggs that are ruined, but I'm gonna put one in here. Maybe I'll try one. Well, I'll just do them all. Let's see what happens. Take this off. Unplug it. Show you. I'll show you the pan now. We'll see how that cleans up. So ever since I have made hard-boiled eggs in a pressure cooker, uh, I swore I would never do them any other way because that is the best way to do them. They cook perfectly, they, the shell falls right off, it's awesome. So what I don't like is having to pull it out every time I just want to make a couple eggs. So if this actually works, that'll be great. I wouldn't mind pulling you know, out the egg cooker. It's lightweight, it's not a big deal, doesn't take up much space. So fingers crossed, these are easy to peel and cook properly. Fingers crossed. All right, I'm a little nervous. Let's see how this goes. Peel one. See how it does. Ooh, it's like water shooting out of it. See that squirt out. <laughs> Let's roll it. Now let see. Wow, well, crap. All right. All right. The first part didn't turn out great, but this is pretty easy. All right. Let's do another one. Let's see. All right. So here's another one. Watch and see if it squirts out like the other one did. Let's see. <laughs> squirt, squirt. All right. Let's see. 
Oh, it looks pretty good. Comes off pretty easily. Look at that. I'm okay with that. All right, here's the real test. See if it's soft, medium, or hard. A little nervous. Really want this to work. Let's see. <gasps> Look at that! Perfect, perfect, perfect. There's no gray around the edge. Nice, it's hard. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm very excited. Let me try another one. Yes! Look at that! Perfect! Very excited. I'm just going to use a paper towel to wipe this off because that's not the mineral deposits. It's like it's more of a burn. It's almost like the timer should have gone off sooner than it did because the water was gone. But but they turned out perfect, so I'm not complaining. Oh yeah, see? Just wipes right off. But over here, it seemed like some mineral deposits, but... I'll wait to clean up till I do the couple other tests and then we'll see how it does. All right, on to the omelet. So next, I'm gonna try an omelet. I just have two eggs. Here is the omelet tray. It does say to spray it real quick, sprayed. And all these, these plastic pieces, they are dishwasher safe, top rack dishwasher safe, uh, but they wash up easy with just soap and water too, so. Remember for the, um, the omelet and the poached eggs, you remove the handle from the boiling tray. But before I put that on, I find my cup. So you can see the line right there. So I'm going to try this first. I haven't tried one of these before, so I'm not sure if I'm going to need more water or less, but I will fill it up to that line. It's not a lot of water. Let me actually see as far as cup wise. This is an A. Yeah, it's just a like right at an eighth of a cup. Put that in. Let's put on our boiling tray, our omelet tray. Just gonna pour them in. And I am gonna add some little, some ham. I heard the other day that ham like this in Australia is called bacon. My friend Mitch told me that. Interesting to me. That's ham, not bacon. But okay. So let's plug it in. Again, remember it's based on the amount of water. So I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm just gonna just put the steam. So if you would rather have the steam come out back here, then you just turn it, but however you want it, but just don't lock it. Alright, so on. We'll see how long it takes. All right, there's the bell. It's been five minutes. Let's see. <laughs> Let me see it. To me, mm, I don't know. To me, it's not done. I'm going to add a little more water. It's almost done, but... Mm. A little too wet for me. All right, so let's see how it did. Ooh, be careful not to burn yourself. Get that. Looks interesting. Not the way my omelet would look, but it's like there's water on top. Anyway, let me just dump it out and see. Right, there we go. There it is. <laughs> I think of an omelet is folded, but um, let me give it a try. All right, so let's see if I cut into it, if it's done. Ah! ah. You can see that, but <clears throat> it looks done uh, without being, you know, dry. Let me give it a try. Reminds me of, I don't know, like hotel eggs or something. I don't like my eggs this um, airy, I guess. I guess that's the best word for it. Uh, so I don't think I would ever make an omelet like this. I mean, it's okay. I think it's the texture I don't like. But it did work, so. All right, now on to poached eggs. All right, so here is the poaching tray. I'm going to 
spray it. All right, so I'm gonna fill it to the omelet poach line like I did for the omelet. Pour that in. All right, so once again, the boiling tray and the poaching tray. Two eggs, two large eggs. I'm not sure a, um, a jumbo would fit in here. This is like all the way to the top. So with using this thing, I think I would stick to medium or large. Okay. Lid back on. Let's start it. All right, so it's been five minutes. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to take out one and see how it is. I'm going to have to put the other one back on. So let's see. this out. Yeah. Yeah, for some, that would probably be good. Um, for me, I like mine a little dunner. I'm going to put this on for a couple more minutes. Add a little more water. And we'll see what happens. So I think it's just going to take some trial and error for you to just play around with the different amounts of water to get the eggs to your liking. All right, so that was another two minutes. Turn it off. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, can you see it? It looks pretty good. That's actually okay. with it. That's better. Yeah, look at that. Oh, they did not lie about that. Looks brand new. Okay, like I mentioned in the beginning, it said you could also like steam uh, broccoli, do all different things. They say you can steam. I didn't try that. Um, I could see a single serving if you're single and just want to make a small serving of broccoli. I could see where that would work. It just acts as a steamer. So that's an added bonus. I will definitely use it for the hard boiled eggs and the uh, poached eggs. Uh, like I said in the beginning, I wasn't sure about getting this when I first thought it was for hard boiled eggs. Um, but after using it, I would get it just for hard boiled eggs. Uh, it worked great. I love how small it is, how lightweight, it's easy to pull out. Um, unlike my pressure cooker, which I love to cook eggs in because they peel so easily. Um, but this did just as well. Um, I didn't have any issue peeling them and they cook perfectly. So I will definitely be using this a lot. It's worth the $14.99 I spent on it. Well worth it. If you know someone who loves eggs, I think this would be a perfect gift for them. I know I love eggs. I eat eggs every single day. So if I got this as a gift, I would love it. Well, not now because I already have one, but if I didn't have one, I would love it. Two thumbs up for me. I love it. So if you've used the Dash Rapid Egg Cooker, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how you like it. All right, that brings me to the question of the day. This question comes from Emily. What's your favorite Christmas cookie? I had to think about this one. The only one I can really think of is a Mexican wedding cookie. I'm not sure. I think it goes by different names, but that's what I've always called it. My mom made them at Christmas time. Actually, that's the only time I ever saw them in the stores was Christmas time. Um, if you're not familiar with what they are, they are um, like little shortbread cookies. They're balls. Um, the shortbread cookies with uh, pecans and they're rolled in powdered sugar. So they are a mess to eat, but they are yummy. So let me know below what is your favorite Christmas cookie. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about hitting that red subscribe button and that bell for notifications. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.